Ngayon naman, gagamitin naman natin yung integral process sa mga rectilinear motion. At ito yung mga notation na makikita nyo ngayon sa integral process natin for solving word problems like velocity, um, di displacement, and so on. So for integral of velocity, it's given by vt dt from t1 to t2. So makikita nyo yung notation na to later on sa mga problems natin. At yung integral naman ng s prime of t will be the integral of your rate of change mula dun sa position, which is given by this notation, which is equal to s of t sub 2 minus s of t sub 1, which is your notation pagkuha naman ng displacement or net change and position ng isang object na gumagalaw. Now, ilan pa sa mga notations na gagamitin natin sa application ng integral will be the net change theorem. Now, in this case, itong f of x natin, which is yung function natin, integral from a through b will be our integral of rate of change. Or minsan, yun yung velo integral ng velocity or integral ng derivatives kasi rate of change yung ginagamit natin as a function, which is equal to f of x from B through A. So, ito na yung pag-evaluate ng integral nyo using definite integral, which basically f of B minus f of A, na kapag nakuha nyo na yung integral process, it's just the net change ng inyong object. At ito yung mga iba pang mga notations na gagamitin natin para sa mga net change problems or word problems involving integrals. We have rate of change in position, which is given by this integration notation. Rate of change of volume, na pwede rin V of T or volume of T, uh, derivative of T with respect to T from T1 to T2. At yung rate of change ng velocity, which is yung mula sa acceleration, pag kinuha nyo yung integral, magiging rate of change na ng velocity. At ito yung makukuha natin later on or gagamitin natin later on sa mga problems. Sa example na to, a particle moves along a line with velocity function vt equal to t squared minus t, where v is measured in meter per seconds. Now, ang unang tanong is we need to find the displacement in meters by this particle, at yung pangalawang tanong naman is to find the distance traveled by the particle during the time interval of 0 to 5. So, unahin natin sagutin yung displacement. At sa displacement, kailangan lang natin makuha yung integral ng ating velocity or yung function of v of t. So, to find the displacement, which is question number one, we need to find the displacement of vt dt from 0 to 5. So, ito yung pagsulat nyo ng inyong function into integral notation. At sa pag-evaluate naman nga, alam natin yung v of t is given by the function t squared minus t. So, we have the integral of t squared minus t dt from 0 to 5. So, mula dito... Gagamitan lang natin siya ng definite integral process, so that means find the antiderivative of t squared and t, and you'll get t cubed all over 3 minus t squared all over t from 0 to 5. So pag-evaluate ng definite integral, is a substitute nyo yung upper limit doon sa ating function, minus doon sa lower limit na isa substitute nyo ulit doon sa given function na kinuha natin ng integral, tapos kukunin nyo na lang siya using simplifying of your function. So, Pag ginamit nyo na yung definite integral process, ang um, displacement in meters ng particle na to is equal to 176 or 175 over 6 meters. So yan ginagamit o dyan ginagamit yung integration para makuha yung displacement ng isang uh, bagay na gumagalaw na ang binibigay na function is yung velocity. Now, sa pagkuha naman ng distance na na-travel ng moving object, gagamitan uli natin siya ng integral process. And this time, kailangan natin yung sign chart natin para makuha natin yung integral um, value or integrations ng mga interval ng bawat movement. So, yung distance traveled ng object daw ay eh, nasa interval from 0 to 5. So, ang una natin gagawin, since given time ng velocity, hanapin natin yung zeros ng inyong velocity. And to get that, just equate t squared minus t to 0 para makuha nyo yung mga iba pang intervals from 0 to 5. And it's equal to 0 and 1. So, yung time interval nyo is pwede nyo pang hatiin sa critical point nyo which is 0 and 1. And this is our sign chart na nag-denote uh, ng ating movement or yung movement ng object natin from 0 
to 5 na merong critical point at 1, 0, and 5. So first, sa paggamit ng sign chart, kailangan lang natin makita yung sign nung velocity nung object na gumagalaw from our first interval, 0 to 1, at saka yung sa second interval from 1 to 5. Now, on our first interval, yung object natin nagmumove dito siya, meron tayong negative value, so that means yung gagamitin nating function ng velocity will be negative kasi dun sa sign chart, yung ating velocity daw is negative yung value from 0 to 1. So to do that, you use t squared minus t and you plug in the value or any value between 0 and 1. Pinili ko si 0 0.5 para makuha ko yung sign value at negative nga yung naging sagot. So that means yung first interval ko from 0 to 1 will be the integral of your function vt dt Pero this time, negative yung sign kasi negative yung mga values ng given interval na ito. Now, doon sa second interval naman, if we verify natin yung signs niya, so t squared minus t, use any number from 1 to 5. I chose 3, so I have 3 squared minus 3, which is 9 minus 3, which is 6, which gives me a positive value. So that means yung ating integral function or integral ng velocity natin, from 1 to 5 will be positive. So ngayon, pwede nyo nang i-add yung, yung value ng mga integral notation nyo sa bawat interval. So first, yung interval ng negative vt dt from 0 to 1. Gagunitan nyo ng definite integral. Make sure it's negative kasi negative yung value ng function. And it will equal to negative times 1 third minus 1 half. Now going back to the second interval, na from 1 to 5, yung ating integral naman ng vt dt, which gives us t squared minus t dt, kasi ito yung function natin. Kunin nyo lang yung integral niya, which gives you t cubed all over 3 minus t squared all over 2. From 1 to 5, kasi yun yung ating interval dito sa functions na to. Kaya using your definite integral process, yung uh, distance traveled ng moving object from 0 to 5, na compute natin using integration in our sign chart, is equal to 59 over 2 or 29.5 meters.